All around Cambridge, signs and plaques can be found that detail the city's rich history, but does anyone actually take the time to think about them? A short walk from the market is a poem called The Ode to Tobacco, written by James Stuart Calverley. The poem is talking about Bacon's Tobacconist, which is a shop that was once here, so revered, in fact, that soldiers wrote love letters to it during the First World War. The poem is written in a way that parodies other poets from the time. So basically, Calvary was like a Victorian weird owl. Unfortunately, all of these poets have since been forgotten, so his work was basically useless. Bacon's closed in 1983 after 198 years of business. Some recreational smokers are still mourning. Behind me is Christ College, where Calvary used to attend. He was famous for his antics here, such as jumping over fences, jumping over horses, and running down the street with a pub sign on his head. This is the Cambridge Archive. I'm here to meet Sue Sampson, who hopefully will tell us a little bit more about the history of Bacon. I'm Sue Sampson and I'm Public Services Archivist here at Cambridgeshire Archives, uh, which is based in Chai Hall in Cambridge. Right, so what do we have here? What we've got here uh, is part of uh, the contents of the old Bacon Brothers shop, uh, which used to be on 16 Market Hill. Um, they were a tobacconists, and when the premises were sold in 1984, um, the contents of the shop were put up for auction at Christie's. And I think they were acquired in the end for just under £2,000. And what we've got here um, are specifically uh, a series of postcards uh, that were sent back to Bacon's from soldiers at the front during the First World War. There's one here which really sort of helps to, to conjure up uh, an image of the, the, the shocking conditions in the trenches. Uh, this chap's uh, writing to, to say thank you for the box of 50 cigarettes that uh, he's received. Um, and he says it's a welcome gift out here where we smoke often uh, because it lessens the disagreeable odours one sometimes abides amongst us. So, you know, that, that's, that's really quite, quite graphic. I talked about pipe smoking. Here's, here's a chap who's, who's writing to say, Dear sir, pipe arrived yesterday. It's a splendid gift and smokes nice and cool, a good pipe for active service, as it's so readily cleaned out. So they're very nice. Uh, a lot of them are a bit more basic than that. They're just saying, yes, the cigarettes arrived safely. Thank you very much. But it's the, the detail that some others go into that really helps paint a vivid picture. You also have one here uh, from a prisoner of war. Yes, so this is, this is actually on a, um, a, a Prussian postcard here and uh, just expressing his, his extreme gratitude. But he talks about quite mundane things further, further down in the card, and he's commenting on, oh, we've been having very wet weather. It's all very, mm. you know, really very quite... British of them. Very, very British, you know, stiff upper lip, that's right. I think more often you see these during the war, what they called field service postcards. Uh, and this was a quick way, usually for soldiers, to communicate with friends and relatives back home. And they had a, a series of statements, I'm quite well, I've been admitted into hospital, I'm sick. And they would just cross out the ones which weren't applicable. And then these could be sent home without having to go through the usual censorship that was in place for any communications. This is uh, a little more unusual. This is a, a really nicely illustrated card. I mean, these were, were, were quite commonly on sale, I believe. Illustration of a, a, a British soldier here sort of striding past the, the Union Jack and um, this chap saying, uh, the cigarettes were as fresh as if they'd just been bought from your shop. So this is clearly a, a Cambridge man and he talks about um, other Cambridge boys uh, in his section. He says you can guess how delighted they were to have some, some Cambridge cigarettes. We also have another letter here that's addressed uh, to or from the YMCA. Uh, that's someone who is actually uh, stationed uh, in this country. He was in a camp near Salisbury 
and um, he's saying, saying very many thanks for the splendid parcel of cigarettes and tobacco received on the 21st of this month. Um, really quite striking letterhead here and, and the uh, for God, for King and for Country. What was the, the YMCA at that point? Because now it's a gym. Well, it was the Young Men's Christian Association. It, it was sort of a, a, a national sort of church-based service. Among the contents from the Bacon Brothers shop were also some ledgers. Uh, this is one of a series of, of ledgers that uh, was purchased um, from the Bacon Brothers shop. And it's opened at this page here to show one of the customers who was uh, Charles Stuart Calverley himself, who was responsible for writing the, the Ode to Tobacco. And he can see uh, in 1852 his account for cigars uh, and tobacco and um, apparently he was a, a very loyal and, and much valued customer. It had been a very interesting day indeed. We thanked Sue and continued on our journey of signs and wonders.